Hello guys, this is Jacko from Muddy Tiger Outdoors. And uh, today we're just decided that we don't care about the heat. And uh, we're just basically getting out and doing a little overnighter. It's uh, It's been needed for a long time. So I'm not by myself today. As you can see, my mom is right behind me. Uh, she decided to tag along and we're just gonna do a little, probably a little wild camping. This place is a little wild. It's uh, it's uh, pretty nice. There's not a whole lot of uh, shade in this trail. And right now we're dealing with temperatures of about 95 degrees Fahrenheit, but we expect it to go a little higher as the day progresses. So we're probably gonna reach about one, between 100 and 102. But, you know, we knew that was gonna be the case and uh, we're kind of prepared for that, so. Let's just uh, keep on trotting. So if you guys follow the channel, you probably have noticed that I'm not sporting my usual uh, Carrymore Sabre 45 backpack. Uh, today, I'm carrying my Kelty Red Wing 50. And this is my old pack, and it's been spending a lot of time in the closet, so I figured it was time to bring it out for a little overnighter. And um, I also have a couple of uh, new pieces of gear today. And we're going to try out a new kind of meal. Um, or hiking or backpacking that I found in the store the other day so definitely a couple of uh, or more than a couple of uh, things a little bit new uh, today so um, I'll show you guys those in a little bit so this is part of the trail but we've had a lot of rain between last year and this year so it's a little bit blocked. All of this is supposed to be land, and as you can tell, the lake has uh, come out. The tide is pretty high still. We're gonna see if there's uh, a way to go out that way. That's part of the trail, and that's the uh, area where we needed to be, or we, we needed to go. There's another way to go back out that way, but unfortunately that means that we're gonna have to backtrack. If that route doesn't pan out, then we're just gonna have to backtrack and uh, pretty much go almost back to where we started and it is hot for sure but in the meantime let's take a view of the lake very cool area Tell you what guys, walking a mile in this heat, it's like walking about five miles. Especially with only a few patches of shade. We don't have shade consistently throughout the entire trail, so it's it's definitely tolling to be walking in uh, this kind of temperature. Hopefully we're not too far from where we plan to camp if the place is still there, if it's not uh, underwater. And of course that place is fairly shaded and uh, we'll be able to just sit down and cool off for a little bit. All right, so change of plans. The heat, the temperature being what it is, it's uh, kind of a risk to overheat. So we've decided we're gonna go ahead and head back. And we're gonna go to another place because this place is 
all the areas where there's trees uh, close to the shore where uh, we could stay for a hammock overnight or they're flooded so it's kind of hard to make camp when everything else is just kind of flooded and, and unkept so we're gonna go ahead and head back and um, find a alternate uh, camping spot so this is definitely hardcore heat we've been walking for a couple hours under this resting here and there every time we find a shaded area but it's still it's still pretty brutal so it's about 3.53 in the evening and uh, now we're just walking back to the truck or the parking lot where I parked the truck and uh, we're headed back to another area where uh, there's more woods and more shade and uh, and of course by then by the time we get there the temperatures have hopefully uh, would have dropped off a little bit better so we'll see what happens all right guys so it looks like we found a alternate place um, to stay here it's not as primitive as we would have liked um, we're not gonna stay in those little crappy looking cabins we're gonna uh, hammock in uh, tarp so um, anyway uh, there's the car uh, of course we're not we're not suffering by any means it's not primitive by any means but it's still um, you know we came here to have a good time and of course the the original plan didn't pan out so we're just gonna make the most out of it so we're gonna set up camp we're gonna uh, you know get prepared it's uh, 421 so I think I'm getting a little hungry so we're just gonna get set up and uh, rest a little bit sorry the camera got a little too close there Whoop. and um, yeah we'll uh, we'll keep you posted Tigris hammock using it for the first time. So we found this little guy and I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see it. Can you see it now? He's a, I don't know if he's resting or if he's dead but we're going to get close and see if he reacts. Oh there he goes. He is alive. Just resting. There he is. Just chilling. It's a big squirrel though. His head is about just a little smaller than my fist. So we're just gonna let it be and uh, keep on building camp over here. There's the hammock and uh, we're about to set up the tarps. All right, guys, so here's a glimpse at the One Tigris hammock, mosquito hammock. Pretty cool hammock. It sets up pretty easy. Uh, I may change the uh, suspension system, but it's decent. It's not too bad. Of course, the mosquito is great. The, the material feels pretty good. And also, it's kind of interesting how they have these uh, straps over here, which are kind of, kind of a combination between a regular strap and a tree hugger. It just kind of protects the tree a little bit, so not bad at all. Uh, of course, I can't say what the hammock's gonna feel like until I have a, a night's sleep in it. And uh, as you can tell also, the wind is pretty strong, so I uh, tried to set up a tarp and it didn't work. So we, uh, you know, it's not gonna rain today, so it's okay if we don't have, um, it's okay if we don't have any kind of shelter or tarp. Um, you know, the sun is going down anyway. And of course, here is, uh, that's my mom's setup. Um, similar um, hammock, very nice indeed. So anyway, it's about, you see it, 5.28, and it's getting close to dinner time. So I'll bring you in when, uh, whenever that, it's time to eat.
that water is for my mom's meal. This is what she's having. Uh, I don't think I've had this one before, but it's uh, it's definitely pretty good. So it requires uh, boiling water to cook. And of course, being as hot as it is right now, it's gonna take a little while to, to be ready to eat. And this is what I'm having. This is something that I've never had before. Basically, this is a modern day uh, MRE. So it, uh, it, it has the uh, uh, chemicals that heat up on their own without adding without having to add uh, boiling water like the other or most of the camping meals so let's give this a try so as we open the package this comes with its own um, plastic spoon which is pretty nice mm -hmm. this is the heating element that's what it looks like this is the actual meal um, it just happens to be chicken and noodles and this is the uh, pocket where you put it so it doesn't uh, uh, get too hot on your hands and of course it's got some of the uh, nutritional information and some instructions all right so the way this works is basically we tear this top piece we add water up to here and then we place the meal and then we wrap it with this uh, bag so let's do that real quick so we tear this open it up we got some water much water so that's it and we let that rest for about 10 minutes and then we have a hot meal after that All right, guys, I think it's time to tuck in. Um, this is pretty, pretty hot, but it's still, I don't want it too hot because I don't want to scorch my lips um, when I eat it. So we're just gonna mix it up a little bit in the bag. And I guess we're just gonna have to cut it open with a knife. And I've got the perfect tool for it. By the way, I'll talk about this knife in just a little bit. Um, very good knife all-purpose knife that smells pretty good so that's what it looks like in there and I gave that spoon that came with uh, the meal to my mom I'm gonna use my wooden spoon from um, Chris from Wyndham Woodcraft pretty good light taste of canned food but it's definitely good so the knife this is the um, Mora knife uh, bushcraft black and this is a heck of a knife I've enjoyed this knife since I had it and it was actually sent to me by a, a very nice guy uh, a guy that happens to watch the channel I'm not gonna say his name because I'm not sure if he wants me to say his name publicly um, he has a YouTube uh, account but he doesn't he doesn't publish videos or anything like that so I'm not I don't sure if he wants me to um, publish that or, or say his name publicly but he sent me this it was very very generous to do that he also sent me a uh, one of the Shangri-La tans which I have used but I haven't uh, made a video with it and that's probably gonna be the next overnighter um, what I need to uh, get is uh, a mattress an inflatable mattress uh, to keep in my backpack so I can use that tent uh, a little bit more comfortably but you know very generous of him uh, this is a great knife. I've, uh, it's, it's a little bit beefier than most of your Moras. Uh, my wife has one of the other Moras, and uh, they're great knives. They're not full tang, but they're definitely great knives. And of course, this one comes with the um, little sharpening surface there, and it also comes with a ferrocerium rod, which you uh, just saw me um, start the, the little uh, uh, stove with. So definitely a, a very good uh, ferro rod. I haven't used this ferro rod as much as uh, my other ones because I kind of like to keep this one um, intact just in case I, I have to use it for an emergency hopefully never but you just never know so that's kind of uh, I like to save this one and I, I kind of use uh, some other ones 
uh, but yeah, it's it's very lightweight, so that's that's kind of one of the pluses why I like this knife. I'm a big fan of, of big, bulky, um, heavy knives that are you know uh, basically bulletproof. But this one uh, is very appealing because of the weight. Sometimes you know when carrying 20 pounds in your backpack, uh, you just try to save weight wherever you can, and this knife definitely allows you to do that, uh, but still keeping it uh, reasonably. Um, uh, safe you know this is a knife that can take a little bit of batoning this is a knife that will do pretty much most of your tasks for uh, backpacking or camping or bushcrafting hence the uh, uh, bushcraft name um, but still you know pretty light with the handle feels fairly comfortable it's a little bit rubberized and it has um, a little bit of a texture it's very very um, uh, grippy so I definitely like this knife so I've been carrying it for a little while uh, lately and uh, definitely enjoy it so this, this is kind of the inside of the um, hammock, the one tiger's hammock. And I'll tell you what, it's pretty comfortable so far. It's very, uh, it's, it's big enough for um, definitely a, a, a guy or a girl uh, bigger than I am. Uh, I've got plenty of space up here and down there by my feet. It's definitely pretty wide uh, or wide enough to be a comfortable hammock. Of course, once I get to go to bed, then I'm going to uh, lay uh, diagonally to, to be a little bit more comfortable. But uh, so far so good. Of course, I'll close the mosquito net. I don't think we're gonna get many mosquitoes tonight because we are right by the lake. The lake is right there. And of course, um, there's a pretty good breeze. So it's kind of hard to record too because, uh, because of the wind noise. But um, as far as mosquitoes, you know, there's, there's no mosquitoes here just because of that. Now, another thing that I'm pretty excited to test out is this. Can you guess what this is? Well, this is a uh, pillow, and this is um, uh, a camp pillow made by uh, Chris Parker Ridge. Miss Parker Ridge, um, she's got a, a, an awesome video, and uh, she shows how to do this. And uh, you know, when I was watching the video, I commented that it was such a great idea, and she was, uh, you know, so talented to make one of these um, in such a, a compact presentation. But um, so I commented that, and she was very uh, uh, kind enough to send me one to. To, you know test it out and, and, and use it so uh, Miss Parker Ridge Chris thank you so much for this uh, great pillow and, and I can't wait to use it tonight of course it's only 650 in the afternoon uh, or in the evening and um, you know during this time of the year uh, it becomes nighttime probably about 9 9 30 so we still have a little while before that gosh that is comfortable It's kind of tough to find a comfortable pillow for a hammock, but because of the way this is made, and the way this is designed, it just kind of conforms to the to the rest of the hammock. It takes that shape, and it kind of cradles your head right in the right position to be comfortable. So I like it. There's definitely a a, a review coming up on this one. Very comfortable. I decided to go ahead and make some uh, chaga tea. Not for now, but for a couple hours. I'm gonna let it steep and cool off in a couple hours. We'll be uh, able to drink it. So I'm using these two um, cans, and these were for some kind of tea. Uh, these were gifted to me by a coworker. Um, but of course, the, the tin cans, they're pretty good. So in one, I keep uh, sugar. If you can see it there. And the other one, I keep the tea. And I've got a chunk of uh, chaga there. So um, I decided to go ahead and uh, uh, make some now so we can probably drink it before we go to bed. So I'm going to go ahead and fire up the Optimus Crux and, um, you know, probably let it boil, boil for about 10 minutes or so. Let it steep, let it cool off, and uh, hopefully in, uh, in a little while it's going to be ready to uh, drink before we go to bed. guys so it's definitely dark and um, we're just pretty much enjoying the breeze we're getting I'm sure you can hear from a microphone but um, we're just enjoying the the calm breeze finally it dropped down to about I would say um, low 90s maybe high 80s right now so it feels good especially when you have a breeze coming uh, towards you 
there's the lake back there. Uh, right now we're just uh, you know just enjoying the evening. We still have some tea that we uh, we haven't drank. We're still waiting for it to cool off. Um, but yeah, just uh, just enjoying the uh, the experience. Those are their sleeping arrangements for tonight. That's uh, Mom's hammock, and she's got her um, sleeping bag in there. If the camera will focus, there we go. And um, I've got mine over here. Of course, that's the first time I've used this one. Uh, we've we've used the other hammock before, but um, so far, you know, I, I was laying down for uh, probably about an hour. Uh, earlier today and uh, this hammock seems to be pretty comfortable the one tigress um, mosquito hammock we've got a uh, light there just to kind of provide a little bit of a light illumination and I've got my phone recharging there with the um, basically this is the power bank of the Sun Jack I didn't bring the uh, the entire uh, solar panels because I didn't I wasn't going to have any need for it since it's just an overnighter, but my phone battery started getting kind of low, so I just kind of grabbed the, the battery pack and, uh, you know, it works that way as well, so uh, very good to have. All right, guys, so we're gonna uh, go ahead and tuck in for the night. As you can tell, we are fairly comfortable inside of this hammock. Um, I feel like I'm very well taken care of with this uh, awesome uh, pillow by uh, um, Chris, uh, Mrs. Parker Ridge. So um, it's definitely gonna be a comfortable night. It's warm, so um, I'm not gonna sleep inside of my sleeping bag. It's basically underneath me as a uh, kind of as a pad even though the hammock is fairly comfortable uh, if you lay uh, diagonal like you're kind of supposed to um, you know I feel like uh, I really don't need the sleeping bag because it's just gonna make me hot so um, definitely comfortable so uh, it's uh, it's a little early I guess for uh, most uh, overnighter uh, standards um, it's about just a little past 10 um, but I'm usually uh, in bed around 10, so uh, definitely feel a little tired. We've had a, a, a long day, especially walking out in the heat, so I'm uh, definitely ready to call it a, a night. So anyway, guys, we'll see you guys in the morning. Morning, guys. Well, um, it appears that we survived the night. Uh, I don't think it was a very pleasant night um, not because of the hammock or anything else uh, we had a lot of wind it was very windy so everything was flapping around um, making a lot of noise and um, you know basically just waking us up so that's that's pretty much the reason so you know the the sleep was just off and on um, uh, you know wake up and go to sleep every five ten minutes so Anyway, so it's a little, um, still a little early, 7:35. So we're just gonna take our time, pack up, and um, then we're gonna head home. Uh, it's supposed to get really hot again, so we're gonna try to pack up before it gets um, super hot in the day.
Alright guys, as you can tell, we're all packed up. We're ready to head home. Um, it's still kind of early in the day, but uh, like I said, there's, uh, there's a lot of heat coming up this way. So um, I hope you enjoyed the overnighter. It was a very simple overnighter. Planned it and go according to what we expect, but we uh, try to make the most of it. So we'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to uh, check us out on Facebook, Muddy Tiger Outdoors. And um, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.